Let's see if we can get this back again. Now where did I put that mask? There we go. Yeah, let's see if I can get the clip. It looks like it's pretty live. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty live. Yeah. We can get it to flip too. Nice. Okay. It flips well. Camera's live. All right. I don't think we got a problem. <laughs> I don't know what that was. The weather's bad. Weather's been acting up. I never had that happen before. That's what she said. Let's see if I can get my chat. There we go. Hey, Dees, what's going on, brother? How are you doing today, man? Hope you hope you're doing all right. Look, uh, yep. Every now and again, I got a flash in front of the thing just to make sure my camera doesn't log up. I had a little bit of a freeze up. It's all good. See, oh, see now you can see DFD's package. See, it's working. It's all good. Bye, Fregele. <laughs> by Fred Jelly. Look, this package, I think he's gonna put a smile on my face and knock me out all at the same time. I can't complain. Swelling's going down. It sucks going up and down the stairs. <laughs> but other than that, man, I can't complain. Getting ready to bust the box of Chronicles and getting ready to maybe look for a Zion. I'm, uh, DFD pops back in. I'm gonna open up his package. This is kind of a surprise. DFD sent me a care package so I definitely wouldn't mind getting into that and then I'm gonna have like a little uh, one-off pie war these are uh, two packs of absolute that um, Danny from 12 again sports and outdoors sent me me and my son Dante we're gonna have an NFL uh, pie off uh, hopefully I'll be able to put that into this Sunday's pre Spidey Sunday's predictions, which I haven't been doing too bad the last couple weeks. I can't complain. I cannot complain. Uh, I've actually been having a half decent record, like, so I can't really complain. But <laughs> I lost I lost a lot to my viewers whenever my stream went bad. So you getting surgery? Well, now you're still waiting, man. Oh, day, you're, so you're still waiting. So you're not gonna be getting any kind of surgery anytime soon. Whew, that's rough. Oh, anyway, whenever I was, I want to take a chance to show you. Uh, I've been watching those back pages lately, and he's been doing that Comic Con stuff, and it's making me want to go back to Comic Con, cause man, I miss it. See, Boondock Saints. I actually got to go to Comic-Con and meet them and spend some time with them. Paid a lot of money to do it. <laughs> we got me and my, this is my, my best friend, Josh. This dude right here is the reason why I'm, I, I get to do a lot of the stuff that I get to do on YouTube. If it wasn't for him, I don't know if I'd be on YouTube, honestly. He helps me out a lot, lets me do a lot of different things, everything. But yeah, we got to meet uh, Norman Reedus and, uh, 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 Sean Patrick Flannery um, and everything. He was in Saul too. He was in one of the Saul movies. And of course, you know Norman Reedus. He's in The Walking Dead. But yeah, this is my, he's my next door neighbor too. And everything like that. But he, he has social anxiety and everything. So, but we used to go to Comic Con and man, we met Shannon. Hey, truth be told, what's up? Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I used to be once upon a time. I had, uh, the, I, I lost my, uh, we went to Comic-Con the following year, and we met, um, Shannon Elizabeth from American Pie. Ouch. Ouch, my leg. And I lost my, I lost my copy of the picture. Josh still has his. I haven't found mine, but I did make a photocopy of it, so, and it looks black and white, so it's kind of rough, but this is from Comic-Con, too. This is me and... Me and my, my 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 boy Josh, we got to meet Shannon Elizabeth, 
at um, Comic Con and got to put my arm around her and everything. It's pretty cool. Got to meet a lot of people, but it's really cool going to Comic Con and meeting people. Uh, we're not. We're having a good day. Hey, Paul. I even got your mail day here too. Hey, Michaela. How's it going? Yeah, she and Elizabeth, she was, but you'd be surprised. She was so uh, petite. She was so small. So, before we get into the Chronicles and the Zion, since DFD's in here, just in case he has to go away. Oh, Danny! Danny's up in the house. Danny, gotta make you blue, brother. Danny, 12 again, sports and outdoors. Woo! That's awesome. He can stop in. See, look, I got... A special Danny 12 again sports and outdoors this was awesome about lost my my poop whenever yeah I lost my I went crazy it was awesome that was fantastic yeah Danny's awesome uh, so I have yeah so why have uh, Dodger friend Drew up in here my you know he likes I'm sorry about them Dodgers buddy I'm, I'm so sorry, <laughs> man, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how our Yankees, my Yankees are going to be. Oh, is Glenn in here? Glenn the Sad Bears fan? Is he? I didn't see him. I must have missed him. Goodbye. If he is. Is he in here? Let me check. I don't see him. Nope, I don't see him. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Wow, here we go, by Fred Jelly. So I have no idea what Dodger fan Drew sent me. You can never tell. It's always usually really awesome and unexpected, and it kind of hits you right in the PC usually. <laughs> Dude, he, did I get it enough? Yeah, I did. I, it. I got it enough. Yay. Yeah, because if, look, look what this is. This, look. I don't have to go far. That's what Dodger fan Drew said to me before, man. Woo! Wow, isn't that awesome? Domingo Herman. That's sweet. Love that card. I keep it up here on my uh, my little background. I love that card so much. And Dodger knife in the shin was that hey dude be careful with that knife <laughs> yeah hey, hey that was in the dark hey what's up Hess? oh man tomorrow as soon as my wife comes home i make sure that she gets that out and she gets that up here that way whenever i go live tomorrow Dell, we can have a we can have a Dell the incredible hulk hess appearance oh look at that oh what oh look at that what Holy cow, DFT, I think he hooked me up with some socks. That's awesome. It's empty. <laughs> I think he hooked me up with some socks. What? Spidey socks. Oh, dude, I love this kind of stuff. Because I wear my Nike slides. I, I put my Nike slides on. I, I'm goofy. I love it, though. I'll go into Walmart. It could be freezing cold. Ghostface! What's going on, brother? Ghostface is up in the house, man. Hey, Barefoot, you're back. Sweet. Oh, hey, Triple P! Triple B up in the house. Man, that's cool, man. I could use some of your, your fire hand mojo, Triple B. Getting ready to open this Chronicle box here after we go through DFDs. Uh, okay, Spidey! And yes, DFD is hashtag Card Mafia. Card Mafia is great. I just want to take a second. Card Mafia is a group here on YouTube. They do nothing but support other channels. That's what they're all about. Spreading the love and supporting other channels. That's what Card Mafia does. Just in case anybody didn't know. Card Mafia, Joesters, Cards and Coins, DFD, Brox Boys, Miss airtime which prayers for miss airtime and uh she's doing really good fighting that cancer um you got miss wicked uh max and baseball betty all they are 
they're a good group. They go around and support other channels. Great bunch of guys, man. Card Mafia for life. I will always support Card Mafia. I I I supported Card Mafia from day zero whenever Joe was just talking about making it uh, in one of Wicked's live streams, just joking about it. The next morning I made a video and said Card Mafia for him and he, yeah, I, I'm big, I'm all about Card Mafia, brother. You guys do nothing, you're good people. Hey buddy, here are some Spidey socks. <laughs> yes, yes, keep the Tucker cards warm. Oh, did you send me a Tucker? Oh, did you? Oh, we're gonna have to sing the Tucker song. Ooh, but first we gotta look at these sexy socks. I'm gonna try and hide because I don't wanna lose it. I wanna open up. <laughs> okay, there, I put it down so I can't see it. But look at them sexy spidey socks and they're long. I'm a freak, dude. I like to put on my slides and shorts. I wear these all the way up to my knees, man, and go in with my slides and like I got Deadpool, I got Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. <laughs> now I got Spidey. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing them, dude. I'll take a picture for you, Drew. That is awesome, man. I just, I just purchased. Uh, whenever I went camping, I didn't get to wear them though. I got a web head, the web head uh, Spidey socks. So this is awesome. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, my brother. <laughs> I will. I'll even do a video where I'm wearing them, where I got my shorts, my, my, my. Uh, Triple B knows all about it. Triple B knows all about my slides. I went to um, went to Gettysburg with Triple B, and we were climbing rocks, and I was in my slides in my Black Panther Wakanda socks. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready for the climb, but it was still fun. Man, that's awesome. Thank you, DFD. It's almost like Christmas came early. <laughs> oh, boy, I better get ready. I hope I got a set of teeth ready for, in case. Man. Oh, the thickness. Oh, the thickness. I'll get the black one out. Woo! Yeah, and everybody, you know, in the chat, if you're not familiar with each other and everything like that, take a second and get familiar with each other. If you like their comment, man, you know, subscribe. If you don't, hey, it's all good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> he packed it. He packed. Oh, I see the Tucker on the back. Yes. We are definitely going to have to sing the Tucker song. And we're going to have to get the Tucker count out. And DFD is going to be in the Tucker tribute. Whenever I get to 200, I am making a tribute one. It's going to be a crazy. You know me. It's going to be a wild crazy. But everyone who's giving me a Tucker will get a shout out. That I swear to you. And... Right now, I am sitting at 68. 68. So here we go. Up to Tucker count, peoples. Are we ready? <laughs> Tucker, hey, Dave. What's going on, brother? A-B-Q-S-C-N-C. Dave's in the house, man. Hey, I hit that lotteria today. I had the Arbol. Arbol. I had the Arbol. <laughs> Arbol. Woo, Tucker. Number 69. If Teddy Gooks was in here, he would love it. He would be ringing 69 throughout the chat. <laughs> Tucker number 69. Oh, big head Tucker. <laughs> Yay. I don't think I have big head Tucker. <laughs> That's awesome. 70. 71. That's sweet Tucker. Looks like he's got a bead on the ball. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> 72 with a nice uh, Cinel Perez. Man, that's cool. 73. Oh, 73 is a blue. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Dell. That's what that. Thank you, Daddy, Teddy. Teddy, appreciate that. I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, that's a blue Tucker. Oh, that's a number Tucker. Oh, man, that is awesome. Number 80. No, number two. Number two. Number two of 250. Oh, DFD. 
Holy cow, man, DFD. Wow, so let's go. 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, and then 74. Stars and stripe. No, wait. That just might be the independence, right? I'm not sure. Oh, that's kind of cool, man. I'm loving this chat. Seeing 12 again and Omnio in here. Whenever them, I, I remember whenever they first started. <laughs> I remember whenever I first seen Omnio and 12 again, which was about the same time. I'm not sure if it was Omnio that was like shouting out 12 again or if it was 12 again that was shouting out Omnio. But that's how I found y'all. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> so 74. That's beautiful. I didn't have that one either. I didn't even know this one existed for 75. I didn't even know he had a fortune teller's one. That is so awesome. That is crazy. I need to turn the volume on my phone down a little bit. Four. And then 76 with the opening day. And I do not have many of these. I was lacking. I'm a little short on them. Holy cow, DFD. Whoa. All the way to 76. Wow. Plus this one I didn't even know existed. Yeah, that's awesome, man. We got a bunch of car crew up in the house, man. I'm happy to see my car crew brothers up in here. Everything. I know we got like five seats left, and I'm I'm hoping that 12 again sports and outdoors is gonna fill one of them. Uh no, but I mean we all gotta vote, but I mean I'm I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there to the car crew brothers that are in here. <laughs> So, wow, Drew. Drew, okay. Yep, he did it. Let me find my teeth, Drew. Let me find, oh, I got a good set of teeth. Give me one second. Stare. Stare at the fortune teller. <laughs> Stare at the fortune teller. Ooh, DFD, I think we're even going to go banjo on this one. We are going to go banjo. Ow, ooh, sore leg, sore leg. Sore leg, sore leg. We're gonna go banjo on this bad boy. We're definitely going banjo on this bad boy. We are, all right. Now you're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lower. Cause I can't stand. <laughs> Thank you, DLD. Woo! Cow Tucker Super Collector. One of it. Thank you, DLD. Woo! Cow Tucker Super Collector. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He did, he hit him with a lot. Man, I can really I can really rip on that banjo, right? I'm gonna go and get some uh, guitar lessons from uh, Twelve Again Sports and Outdoors, man. He can strum a guitar. Or, or or Dave Durango, man. Dave Durango knows how to play guitar. Uh, maybe get some lessons from Dave Durango. <laughs> yeah, I gotta sing the Kyle Tucker wannabe super collector song. I'm getting there though, man. Oh, dude, are you kidding me, DFD? Now, oh, that's cool. Uh, that, it's gonna be all oh, Freebird. You want me to sing Freebird? <laughs> I can sing Freebird. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. That got me 76 Kyle Tuckers. And DFD makes the list. So that I'm 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 gonna try. Uh I don't know. So far I got like 12 or 13 guys that have uh gotten on the Tucker list and everything like that. It's gonna I was thinking about I was thinking about doing the uh the uh who was it that did that? Was that uh, Billy Joel, I think, was he was he the one that sang We Didn't Start the Fire? Hey, breaks and stuff. What's going on, brother? Glad to see you. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to fit all you guys' name into, like, a really fast, like, thing and try and rhyme. And, but, yeah. Spidey's not that talented. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> My tongue doesn't work that well. So, that was awesome. DFD, Card Mafia. We already have. I'm just going to flash it for you just in case. If y'all don't know who DFD is, man, go check out Joester's Cards and Coins 
Uh, he did a couple of uh, Chronicle. He did like a couple breaks uh, with uh, Joester's Cards and Coins. So if you want to hear my man DFD, you're going to have to go over to Joester's Cards and Coins and check him out and everything because he loves his doll jobs. And it's awesome because uh, I got into Lone Star's, and I'm not sure. I have to contact Lone Star, but I got into Lone Star's case break, first case break. And uh, guess who I got, DFD? <laughs> guess what team I got? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get them Yankees. I got them Dodgers. <laughs> I definitely got them Dodgers. So this 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 package is Dodgers. Nothing but Dodgers from Lone Star um, Legends Cards first case break, which was awesome. But I, I I don't know if he wants me to make a video or, and he's not in here, so I don't want to open it if he's not in here. So. But I want to get that done. If he wants me to do a video, then I want to do a video soon. So, because I'm not keeping any of those Dodgers cards, man. <laughs> I don't collect Dodgers. I do not collect Dodgers. Oh, look, my Eggie card. These my my WWL brothers. Because, look, if y'all don't know what the WWL is, it's the Web Slingers Wrestling League that I'm going to be having a bunch of the guys who break wrestling come together. And we're going to be doing some cool little... Like, Eggie's going to be one. Um, Hard R, Ricky Clark, uh, Joe Spice. I'm talking to Joester right now. He hasn't committed to it yet. He hasn't really said anything about it yet. But I have talked to him about it. But, all right, man. Let's see if we can pull some fire. Let's see if we can get Tucker number 77. Or see if we can pull more points for uh, Triple B. Because <laughs> all my points. Hey, Phil. That's cool. Hey, everybody check out Phil. Phil popping in the... I, I appreciate you popping into my live, man. I see you at a bunch of other lives. Phil, Phil usually... Uh, I see Phil at uh, Urban's. Um, I see Phil at uh, El Canon. Which El Canon is awesome. Whoops. Oh, earthquake. El Canon. He does the Pokemon. No. Yeah, it's good to see you, Phil, man. I appreciate you stopping by, man. <laughs> I know who you are, brother. <laughs> All right. Hey, did I see Ricky? What up? What up? Go through. Yeah, I did. What up? What up? <clears throat> what up? What up? Ricky Clark's in the house. <laughs> Love me some Ricky Clark, dude. He is a good dude. He rips. He's been ripping fire. He just ripped Chronicle, and uh, he got a good hit. He got a, uh, I liked it. It's a nice short print. Um, honestly, it, if I, uh, if I PC'd the dude, I'd, I'd try to make a deal with him for it because man, it's a really good hit <laughs> and it's low numbered. That's what makes it awesome. Boom, boom. Oh, we got our unparalleled pack that we shall save for the end. <coughs> and we're going to do this the spite way. And I think you all should know. Hey, Nick's quality cards and stuff. Sweet. He stopped by. What's up, brother? You got Man, got a lot of cool people up in here. A lot of people I like hanging out with. That's awesome. Appreciate y'all. So we're going to do this the Spidey way. <laughs> and if you all should know by now what the Spidey way is, I try to remember all of my YouTube friends. Teams. And as I pull people, I like to call people out. Now, I do not remember all, but I do for the most part. And look, we're going to start off with a Senzel for Reds Fan 21 and Brandon Lloyd, man. He's really into Senzel. That's cool. And I like Brandon Lloyd. And uh, uh, Reds Fan 21 is a Car Crew Junior member. So that's awesome. Who we got next? Who we got next? Nathaniel Lowe. Who's he for? Is he for Tampa Bay? So I think that's Bobby's team. Bobby. Everybody knows Bobby. Oh, hello. There we go. We got the big meat Pete. Pete Alonzo Phoenix. All nice and shiny. And of course, we know Andrew Mazza's a Mets fan. We know that Wynn Bryant loves this guy. You know what? I think Waxman's is a Mets fan. 
You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there's a lot of people that like Pete. So, there. That's awesome. The polar bear. The polar bear. So, that's cool. That's awesome. Oh, there we go. You say Kikuchi. That's D's car brakes. Uh, Donald Blumdahl. He's a Seattle fan. Uh, the buff man loves uh, Kikuchi. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Jerry's baseball loves is the Pete number? Oh, it's a good question. Thanks, Ben. No, but it has a big old prism. I don't like to focus. Prism thing on it. It's a prism. It's just not numbered. It's still cool though. I needed uh I needed an extra Pete Alonzo so I can send Oh man! Uh Paul Olson. Paul Olson, I almost forgot. Paul Olson loves Pete Alonzo. <coughs> See, every now and again, you know, but I, it comes to me. I, I, you know, I come, hey, there you go. What up? What up? <laughs> Ricky Clark, Phillies. Uh, you got Jay Schmo, like the Phillies, the Jeff Airtime. Man, there's a lot of Philly fans. That's awesome. That's cool. That was a good first pack, man. See, get to shout out people. See, I like, I like to, uh, open cards and everything this is the way i like to open cards it makes me think of uh certain cards make me think of you guys <laughs> you know <laughs> it's awesome that's just the way my my brain works i'm into this i'm in this hobby to make friends and and stuff like that oh yay big head tucker <laughs> that's a bad mother tucker shut your mouth i'm talking about tucker <laughs> Yay, 77. Night. Oh, my goodness. It's a Tucker pack. 78. Back-to-back <laughs> -back Tuckers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a big head Tucker. <laughs> That's just a sweet Tucker. Oh, holy cow. Now, uh, I, I, I want to give a shout-out to... Hats, the mad obsessed Astro fan, because uh, Pete Miller, uh, there's a lot of people that like the, the Kyle Tucker besides myself, card guys and Astro fans, so I want to give out mad shouts to them, but sorry. I, I, I'll send you any, I'll send you guys all kinds of Astros, card guy, you already know, because I already sent you a package, but love my Tuckers, yes! 77 and 78. Sweet. Oh, DFD. There's one for DFD right off the bat. Bang. That's awesome. So I'll put that over here. These will go over in this pack because I know I'm going to send that out. <laughs> I know that D's getting that one. Oh, Mitch Keller Green for Pittsburgh. And uh, we got a bunch of Pittsburgh fans. We got Evgeny Crosby, Wicked, uh, man, uh, Sean Sweeney. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of Pittsburgh fans. That's cool. Oh, we got an another Kikuchi. Dude, seriously, did we just get another Kikuchi? Did we get doubles? For D? Yeah, we did double up the Kikuchi. We got double Tuckers. Now we got double Kikuchis. Ho oh, ho! Cleveland car connection. Oh, dude. Yeah. No. Sorry, Cleveland. You don't look good in black, my brother. ECC Cleveland car connection. One of the original founding members. Love that man. And he took me in whenever I only had 102 subs. It will always be my car crew brother there, CC. Love. Happy to see you. It was the D. D car breaks. He loves him some Ichiro. Then we got a Joy Vato. What's up, Vato? Now, that again would be Brandon Lloyd, Reds fan. 21. It's all good. Okay, let's get a little infielder. I don't know too many people that love the Angels, though. Oh, Brendan Rogers. Oh, for the Rocky. Corey Kluber, Cleveland. And, oh, hey, for Cleveland Carter. 
connection. He likes them Indians. Uh, we got fishing with Phil. He's over there in Cleveland. Who else? Oh, yeah, Mike. That's no good. That's that's Afghani's team, Wicked's team. Oh, I think I just nicked, knocked down my big harp. Then let's get into the last. We can't complain. Got two Tuckers. Got two Tuckers and a bunch of other stuff to send out to people. Oh, and we got a numbered on the back. Oh! Tucker box! I'm so happy! <laughs> That's crazy. I think I lost the chat. <laughs> My thing didn't come back on. Ooh, Kirsten ha Oh, it's- Whoa! That's gold! Whoa! Wow, that's a golden door. Ooh, what do you think about that one, Cleveland? Mike the Indian card dude would like that one. Wow, it's a golden door. Number to ten. Woo! That was pretty solid. That was pretty solid. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. That works. That is really cool. Holy cow. Uh, oh, Joester's in the house. What's up, Joester? My brother from another mother. Yeah, Cleveland, isn't that awesome? I don't really, you know, I only know two guys that collect uh, Indians, and that's you and Mike. And uh, Mike's not here, man. So if you want that, man, I can send that your way. I don't collect Lindor. But it's nice. That would look good in your collection, bro. Six out of ten. Very nice. I'm going to have to get that sleeved up. Make sure nothing bad happens to that. That was a very nice pull. In a Tucker box. And it was in a Tucker box. Dude, tell me that was not the perfect box for me, guys. <laughs> yeah okay i got your address cleveland oh unless you moved i might need your new one that's okay send me an email you got my email i've sent you a package before yes oh yes 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 while wow, everybody's in here uh 12 again sports and outdoors because yeah now that we got that one we still got zion to look for <laughs> yay okay 12 again, sports and outdoors. Matter of fact, let me let me just put that here while he's plugging it. Because I love this guy. This dude is a good dude. He's got a good heart. Um, if you want a, a channel that's actually going to uh, interact with you and everything. And and not just, you know, ever Because people, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking anybody. I don't care what you do. <laughs> it's your life. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying... But I will let you know that if, whenever you come to someone's video, if you click on that video and hit the thumbs up and then just leave a comment without watching, you think you're supporting, but you're actually hurting that person's video more than you're helping it. With YouTube, your videos are more likely to be shown and seen if you can uh, keep your what is called video retention up and or video duration and what that is is the length say I put up a five minute video alright but people are just coming watching the first 45 seconds putting the thumbs up and leaving a comment my video duration and video retention is poop at that point I, I, I might as well you know not do anything at that point I pretty much poop at that point and this is how this is how um, the YouTube retention and how your videos are shown outside of your community you if you have a if you have a person who's coming over and if you have a 12 minute video they're coming in they're watching maybe like the first 30 minutes 30 seconds of it you know and they're like okay they hit the thumbs up and they start to and then they'll maybe click through and just kind of or click to the end your video retention and your video uh duration on that is absolutely poop they pretty much instead of like supporting you like they thought they were they're pretty much pooping on your video i mean that's and i'm not that's not my opinion that is not my opinion these are the facts <laughs> these are the youtube facts i'm just putting it out there 
<laughs> that's that's honestly if you do the research people you will find that I am not bullcrapping you this is the honest truth whenever I go and I watch your videos and I'm gonna make a video of how I start my day and how I go about watching you guys' video um, whenever I go in I don't care like ABQ AB, Dave ABQ like this morning I accidentally clicked on <laughs> I was trying to, to hit on an Instagram thing and I hit on his video and everything like that. And I'm like, oh, I was like, okay. So I start and I look at it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a 21 minute video. <laughs> well, it's too late. I already clicked on it. I'm watching it. I was going to watch it later, but I watched it. And hey, it was good because I had the I had the lottery card, the L R ball. So it kind of worked out. But whenever I hit play, I go all the way. Because I'm, I don't want to screw up your analytics. I don't know. It might not be important to everybody. It's not important to me. I'm just letting you know right now. <laughs> Spidey doesn't care. <laughs> Spidey doesn't care about analytics. But if it's important to you guys, then you guys should, yeah, hit play, go all the way. You know, it'll help with your retention. But 12 again, sports and outdoors hit 200. Is it 250? Let me see. I gotta see. I think it's yeah. I know it's poop. I like the poop. It's Mr. Hanky. I'm Mr. Hanky's cousin. Hanky, Spidey Hanky, Spidey Hanky. That's what I should be. But 250. He's doing his 250 sub giveaway. I'm not sure. Am I already in it? <laughs> I think no. Oh, <laughs> hit that video is yeah. It's on my list. See, it came out last night. I haven't I haven't entered it either. Woo! And Danny's one of my boys, so hey, go over and check out Danny and make sure that you get into that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it does sound great, doesn't it, DM? If you press play, go away. I mean, I'm just saying that's how you're helping people. You don't have to watch it. I mean, if you don't like what they're doing, you don't have to watch it. Just let it play. <laughs> that's all. You don't have to like it. I mean, some of my stuff... <laughs> I can imagine, you know, I watch it. Some of it's corny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't mind being corny. If it puts a smile on somebody's face. Like that uh, mail day that I did for Vogs, I had fun with it. It was cool. And it made Vogs, Vogs very happy. And if it made Vogs very happy, mission accomplished. Because that's who it was for. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If the rest of the community wants to come and watch it and everything, that's really cool. But the fact that it made Vogs very happy, mission accomplished. That's all that counted. And he was very happy because he messaged me with a very good message. It actually made me smile. Vogs is a very good dude. He makes me smile a lot. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what all the details of Danny's 250 sub giveaway is. But, man, y'all should get involved. I know I'll be involved. So, everybody wants to see this Zion guy. Me, myself, I want to see Barrett. Oh, and I want to be able to put the knife in the slot. There you go. I want to see Barrett. I want to see Colby White. Because that's the Bulls in the, the um, Knicks draft pick. But for, I mean, and I, I think, I think John Rant's going to be good. I really do. That's who Dakota, Dakota, Dakota likes Colby White, but he likes John Morant too. And whatever my son likes, that's who we collect. I mean, other than Knicks. Of course, I'm going to collect my Nickies. Uh, my, <laughs> my Knox, baby. My Knox and my RJ Barrett. Yes. Um, that's it. There's a lot of packs there, but man, these are so hard to pull. And it's usually like the first two packs, so we'll put them on the bottom and everything. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not. Oh, Rookie Monster, I watch yours in full, man. <laughs> that matter of fact, uh, Rookie Monster, matter, matter of fact, all, all the people in here, Rookie Monster... Oh, Joester's Cards and Coins. Joester's Cards and Coins, that's another one. I watch his in full. And the, there are two channels that I don't miss. I don't miss a video. Nope. 
No, a matter of fact, I actually owe an apology. Uh, all my car crew brothers, I, I don't miss their videos. I, I, out of uh, my 14 other uh, car crew brothers and sisters, I don't miss any of their videos. I always, always watch their videos. Um, but I did slack on one. Oh my goodness, and I owe him an apology, Wax Man. I missed some of his videos. And I haven't been, and so I'm not a Fairfield guy. I'm not, I don't, I mean, I like, don't get me wrong, I like the cubes. I like these. I like these Fairfield cubes. These are for crazy for cardboard. I gotta send them. But I don't like Fairfield boxes. I'm not a Fairfield guy. Um, I just, yeah, I know that it's gonna be a poop hit. And I know that every now and again you can get a nice rookie and everything, an old school rookie or something, but it's just, I don't know, I'm not a Fairfield guy. But I watch his videos and I hit the thumbs up and everything, but I missed a few in that BRC uh, series, so I don't apologize on apology because, man, I always want to support my car crew brothers and everything, but I have been. Waxman is the one that I've been missing a little bit. I've been slipping on. But other than that, there's a lot of uh, guys that, like triple B, I don't miss a triple B. Oh my goodness! Hold on, I gotta put the cards down. Is that big K? Oh, I gotta make him. There you go. You look so much better in blue. There, there's the car crew. My car crew, the car crew master. There, buddy. Coach K, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm a little blue. Coach up in my live stream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is awesome. Man, Coach was one of the first. Coach in Cleveland, man. They were like two of the first people. Like whenever I first made an account and I started doing this. Oh man. I, I you know, I'm a Jabs guy. I, I came from Jabs. You know, Jabs brought me back, of course. But, I, you know, I was always enamored with coach k morning coffee with coach and everything and uh i was always bumping coach k in the beginning and then whenever they actually took me under their dude i owe you guys so much man thank you so much for stopping in coach and cleveland man that that means a lot to me guys i appreciate you guys i appreciate everybody jokesters up in here man i mean I got a lot of car crew people up here. Got the Rookie Monster car crew. Oh, man. Oh, hey, Paul Guerrero. Welcome, brother. But, man, that's awesome. I love, I love my car crew brothers. We're going to start off with a big old Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> oh, Trey Young. Can't go bad there. Oh, Lauren Jackson. Romeo Langford's our first rookie. And then we got a... Who is he? Grant Williams. No, nobody special this first one. Man, yeah. If it, yeah, car crew. Car crew found me whenever I just had a hundred subs. And... Man, I don't know where I would be without them. <laughs> I really don't. They were awesome. I mean, that's my family. That's my crew. <laughs> I'm car crew for life. Lone Star, Lori. Matter of fact, that's funny because as soon as I get my hot box, I got I'm getting my hot boxes this month. I think I think Matt's coming up. Um, he's uh he's bringing me hot boxes, and I'm gonna take one of the hot boxes, and I'm gonna open I'm gonna open it, but I'm not gonna open the content. I'm gonna add packs to it, and I'm gonna add hits to it, and I'm kind of gonna like. It's going to be like a hot box on, I should not say steroids, that's a bad, <laughs> human growth, <laughs> that's not good either, especially in our community. Uh, it's going to be a crazy souped up hot box, and I'm going to do a giveaway and everything with that, but it's going to be like, since we didn't do the big uh, car crew giveaway, it's going to be a giveaway to help a couple of our car crew members grow. And everything, but it's gonna be souped up. It's gonna have extra hits in it. It's gonna have extra packs. Mikael Bridges. Ooh, Donovan Mitchell. This is for. Oh, that's a nice chrome one too. That's sweet. That is really sweet. Send that to Hard R. He's a jazz fan. 
everything. So yeah, I'm getting ready to do that one, and it's funny. <laughs> Got a man. I'm just so happy to see all these car crew guys in here. Amio's up in here too. Jared Culver. So no, I'm not getting the Zion yet, or the R.J. Barrett, Carl Anthony Towns, Cat. I would like to. I haven't gotten R.J. Barrett yet. I don't know if you know Nico. Nico rips packs. He he's been he opened like eleven or twelve of these, man. He got like six Zions, not autos, but still, Zions are going for like fifteen, twenty bucks. DeAndre Fox, ooh, that's Bryce's boy. Paul George, Omar DeGrom. No, who we got? Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> Pronounce that one for me, guys. Wow. Uh, I'm not going there. And then we got a Brandon Clark, I think. Yeah, it's pretty. From, yeah, Brandon Clark. School colors. And then we got the DR and Fox again for Bryce. Man, it's tough to pull these. Yeah, thank you so very much for, for uh, stopping by, man. I appreciate you. Coach K, and I can't wait until we get, yeah, uh, you know, I don't know, if this is, it was a while ago, it was the beginning of the baseball season, uh, me and Big K, Coach's son, you know, entered into a Boston, uh, New York uh, thing, you know, how many wins the Yankees have against Boston, how many wins Boston has against the Yankees, and that fluition will be that. At the end of that and all the goodness that came out of that will be coming soon because I'll be sending out uh, uh, Big K's package here in, uh, probably next week. I, I don't know if I'll be able to send it this week. Dell! Dell does not want to stand up. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to send it out this week. It'll probably be next week. But, yep, we had it. It was awesome. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm even going to do a little video wearing a Boston hat. Please forgive me, y'all. <laughs> Just that, that, you know, I follow through. Oh, Ellie Johnson's up in here. Hey, that's my boy. Oh, since Ellie Johnson's up in here, man. I wonder if I got my book. Let me see if I got my book. Because I got, I got, oh, here, there it is. There's my book. Because uh, I, got, I got a package that I got to send out to him. Dude, he's got to get his last package. I got I got a list of the people who I got to send packages that are like I got to get them out. And uh, as you packages, this is my this is this is like priority. Ellie Johnson's on the top of the list. I got to get one out to RSR Cards because RSR Cards is having his first uh, case break, kind of card break, whatever he's doing. So I got to get that out. And then Bryce, I got to get his out. I got to get Ricky Clark's out. I'll pick Harv. Card Hobbyist, Triple B, and then I got to get one to Posada right now. And then I got to add the Coach K because I got to add the Coach K one because that one will probably go out next week. But yeah, that's the packages that I got to get out. But today's Wednesday, probably Thursday and Friday. So I got a lot of stuff to do. But oh, Eggie's in here too. Woo! Oh, I took out, I didn't open it. I took it off camera, but I didn't open it. Ooh. Eggie's in the house. That's awesome. Ellie Johnson. Yeah. Oh, dude. And uh, if y'all didn't know, uh, Ellie Johnson started a, um, he started a, a, a it's, it's a rated, it's, it's a rookie rated box. That's what it is. It's on eBay. You get a buttload. <laughs> you get a buttload of packs in it. It's crazy. Um, he's got them on eBay. I'm sure if he, if he gets the time, he, you, you can drop that link for everybody to see so they can go and check out and see if they can get a, uh, is it, is it rookie rated box? That's it. It's backwards. That's why I have to think about it before I say it, but yeah, it's awesome. I've, I've already seen it. Hopefully I'll be able to afford one here before too long. I, <laughs> I got too much other stuff. I actually got a. I actually owe him money for the uh, the um, Alvarez Alvarez auto. Woo, KD KD's a good one. Ben Simmons. There's another one. Ricky Clark's boy, Philadelphia out there. Uh oh. Looks like we got our auto. Oh well. Hopefully we can get a Zion rookie. Who we got here? 
Oh, uh, it's not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. I'll take it. Moses Brown. <laughs> it's not terrible. But hopefully we can get a rookie. Oh, looky there. That's it. That's my boy. That's, oh, that's awesome. Tar Heel. James Worthy is awesome. That's sweet. We did get the John Morant. Nice. Coda's going to be happy. At least you get one of the main rookies, right? <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm sending that Thursday. I, I got, I, I got it. I just, <laughs> I had to go camping this weekend, so I didn't get to send much stuff out. But then we all know how that ended. <laughs> Camping. You know, don't want to get raced on this channel at all. But I might be living proof why Puerto Ricans shouldn't go camping. <laughs> Just put it out there. I don't know. Victor Negron might disagree. Posada might disagree. But no, nothing good happens to me whenever I go camping. <laughs> Oh, you leaving, Paul? All right, thanks for stopping by, brother. So, Aggie. So, Aggie's up in here. Before I get into this pack, real quick. Aggie's up in here. And Aggie and I have already thrown down in a hot box challenge, which was the wrestling. Now, I'm starting the WWL. And, Jester, you're in here so you can hear it. The WWL is the Web Slingers Wrestling League for YouTubers to come together and break and talk some smack, cut some wrestling promos <laughs> into the community. And my boy, well, wait, well, actually, right here it was. Now, this is how I, you know, this was the hot tag, hot box wrestling. But it was only limited. So, I mean, we could go out and get a bunch of blasters, wrestling blasters, which, you know, we're going to. You know, there's going to be blasters broken between us and everything. But the hot box, um, I'm not sure whenever it's coming back. I know it's coming back, but I'm not sure when. But in the meantime, woo! In the meantime, hard art cards, y'all know hard art cards. He's going to be definitely in the, uh, the wrestling league. He might be coming out with a product, a wrestling repack thing that we can spark this off. And uh, it's going to be, so far, uh, uh, Egg. Egg's wrestling. Um, I know I talked to, I said something to Joster, but I haven't got any. He, he, I'm not sure if he's, I mean, he breaks wrestling, but it's hard for him to find wrestling from where he's at. I do know that. Um, but Joe Spice is down. Um, 25 badass, um, you know, we got a couple other guys, we got, uh, the, uh, Lloyd Abraham, he does wrestling, uh, I, I said something to him in the live, and he said he would be into it, so, um, once I get, like, the number, I do have, where did I put that now, I got so many, I got so many notebooks, where are they all, was it in there, no, it's over there, figures, I got them hobble oh i got a hobble yeah because funkin mess i haven't gotten a I, I haven't said anything to funkin mess but i'm pretty sure Funkin's gonna be in ouch ouch ouch, ouch. uh ricky clark of course uh i'm gonna say something to our car crew brother um chris cards he does the wrestling see if chris cards wants to get in with us but man i'm gonna go all out man uh for the wrestling league i'm uh, <laughs> I'm going to have fun with it, man, whenever. I'm going to come up with my wrestling little uh, promo and everything. Like, whenever I get ready to go against someone, you know, throw down. A, it's going to be fun, dude. Wrestling is fun. Oh, Luca. Hello, Luca. Wrestling is fun, dude. And the cards are cool. And it's just, it's so much more fun whenever you're actually, uh, you know, you know, it's just so much more fun whenever you're like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have a better, blah, I'm going to kick your butt, pin you. I'm going to put that mandible claw on you. Yeah. You know, I just, you know, just talking smack and having fun with your buddies, man. 
I, I, I was talking all kinds of crap, and I got my butt kicked both times. That's a cool Luca. I should send that to Bryce. Um, I got my butt kicked both times, man. Eggy, Eggy dominated me and everything. And then the uh, hard R, <laughs> hard R, <laughs> yeah, I got manhandled. It's all, oh, look, dang, this is a good blaster. We got my boy, Colby. Oh, we got two Tar Heels. Donovan Mitchell's really cool, too. That one's for hard R, too. He's a jazz. But, yeah, that's awesome. We got Colby White for Dakota. He's going to be playing with the Bulls. That's awesome from my Tar Heels. And then there, Cameron Johnson. Man, Uncle Russo pulled a sick Cameron Johnson out of that immaculate college, collegiate. Oh, it's so good. Oh, man. And this dude's got, like, the sweetest stroke ever, dude. I mean, dude can just shoot the lights out. And then that's going to be awesome because that's who we're going to be chasing. We're going to be chasing Colby White because he's the Bulls point guard, baby. That was a good pack. Oh, Stosh, what's going on, brother? So, yeah, as far as the wrestling and everything, I do, um, I know that the first, <laughs> I know that the first one, the first match of the WWL is going to be Spidey versus again in a rematch. I'm not sure if uh, Hard R got in contact with uh, Eggy and let him know the details, but. I am ready to throw down again, and uh, this time my wrestling knowledge is a little bit better. Although his his, his timing, his delivery, Eggy's just so damn good, man. <laughs> I mean, dude, Eggy's oral is awesome. <laughs> that, that's that's it's hard to overcome. I got this goofy voice, <laughs> you know. My oral is not even close. I have to, I don't, I don't know, we'll see, I'll have to bring it, I'll have to definitely bring it, but yeah, we're definitely going to start throwing down in the WWL, and I'm going to start, like, once I get confirmations from these people, and everything, and we get their, uh, what, what kind of uh, wrestling name they're going to go with, <laughs> because y'all can have wrestling names, <laughs> if you want, that would be awesome, oh, Dang, this is a good box for me. Look, Nazir Little from North Carolina. And Uncle Russo pulled a banging, banging patch out of it. I mean, a sick North. Not bad. No Zion yet. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me because I'm just sending my... I won't be collecting Zion. I'll be sending my zones out. John's going on there. Another Shaquille. Here's our rookie. Ty Jerome. Is that the dude from Virginia? Yeah, it is. And then our last rookie is... Oh, that's cool. All right. Dude from, Jack from Texas. I know him. That's awesome. Jackson Hayes. He was all right. Oof. Charles Barkley. Is that Charles Barkley? Yeah, that's Joester's boy. <laughs> Joester likes him some Charles Barkley. So, all right. I got my Carolina. I got John Morant. You know, I can't complain. It wasn't poop. It wasn't poop. <laughs> hey, Wilmer. Yeah, Zion went to Duke. Yeah. Oh. So you're going to be the dirty squirrel. Hmm. I'm going to have to. Dirty squirrel. I don't know. I'm going to have to come up with a cool little description name for the the spidey. <laughs> dirty squirrel. See if I can beat down the dirty squirrel. <laughs> That's a good name. Dirty you know, just like uh, Joe Spice is from Toronto, man. He can be like the Toronto Terror or, I don't know, that's a terrible adjective. But you can come up with all kinds of cool adjectives and everything like that. Uh, so, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. These, 
These basketball ones, they're tough pulls. Got a Moses Brown autograph. I mean, that... Uh, it, it, I mean, honestly, with the draft picks, you're better off waiting until the real products come out. I mean, there's always a chance. You'd still be able to pull your $15, $20 uh, Zion rookies, but... Yeah. I mean... I've opened like three boxes of these, and I haven't even got an R.J. Barrett yet. <laughs> it's okay, though. There's plenty of you guys out there pulling R.J. Barrett. Huh? All right, let's get back to this. I got I got some more mail, maybe. I'll look through my mail, and we'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, the WWL is definitely ramping up. Um, I'm going to definitely uh be putting out. Jester, I love you, dude. I try, I try, I drive my wife crazy. I'm not going to even lie. I drive my wife crazy bouncing. Like whenever I see things and everything, that's just how my mind, that's how my mind works. Whenever I see Barkley, I think of you, Jester. <laughs> that's just how, how my, or if I pull a, if I pull a 49er, I think about Triple B. There's three things I think about. I think about Triple B, I think about Jester, and I think about my sister. That's what the 49ers bring up in my head. That's just how my mind works. Like, I don't know, man. There's so many things. There's so many things. Yeah, I, yeah, that's because my wife cleaned, Dale. Dale, man, I do. I have this awesome Fred Jelly package that I should have already had open, but Dale... Yeah, I, I went, uh, the whole cast to make an appearance, and then I got this awesome big old package, big old care package from uh, Coach, and I got it, I sent him one, I don't know, I don't know if I'm behind on Coach or not, I gotta figure it out, me and, me and Coach from, if you guys don't know who Village Breaks is, you should check out Village Breaks, this is awesome, he's, I mean, he's breaking some really good stuff. Hey NASCAR. Um, yeah, Phillies Brakes and I, he's the one that actually turned me into the Kyle Tucker Super Collector. Yep, and I even added more and I didn't even see. But that's all good. I appreciate everybody that stopped by. I usually like to go for about an hour. Every now and again, you know, I don't like to. Just in case, I don't like to hog other people's time. I know there's a lot of people that like to get live and everything. So I try not to go too long. Like, I, I tried to wait until after uh, Crazy for Cardboard. It was over before I went today. But, yep, yeah, I think that I'm not going to open any more mail. Oh, no. Actually, yeah, do you want me to open it? Paul, I got it here. I could do that one, that last one before I get off here. Um, that would be this one. This is Paul's package. Paul Dush. Oh, I got, what is that? I don't know how it got bumped like that. But, oh. oops, <laughs> my battery pause. Oh, that's okay. I got the plug right here. Woohoo! Now I won't run out of juice. Boom, I'm in. Yeah, so I want to see your Tuckers go up. Woo! Okay, he wants to go. He wants to see the Tucker song again. All right. All right. All right, we can do that. We can do that. Hold on a second. Let me just do a little cut in here real quick. Do a little cutting. Okay. Done cutting. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, now. Wow, I should have brought my Tucker book over. This DFD. Ouch. Hold on, let me get my Tucker book. Just one second. Ouch, 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 ouch. 
<clears throat> so, cause, yep, <clears throat> I gotta put DFD was number 13. And here was Tucker number 69 through number 76. So, yeah, see, I got my Tucker list. Uh, my Tucker list. And then Billy's Brakes, Paul Olsen, Victor Negron, Ethan Elvis covers more, Triple B cards, Ellie Johnson, 12 against sports, Deafness 45, Hot Box cards, eh, Kama Feneg, Ricky Clark, Big Harv, and then DFD number 69 to 76. And then Paul, I gotta put you on here, Paul. Cause I got number 77, 78, and 79. So Paul, your first one that I get will be number 80. Holy cow, that's pretty awesome. All right, so, all right, we're gonna do this. This is Paul, everybody should know Paul. Paul's jumping in and out of everybody. Paul's a good dude. Paul supports mostly everybody. Okay. Whoa. Okay. What do we got here? What do we got here? Okay. There's a bag full car. Okay. And then. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a case. Oh, wow. He sent me a case. <laughs> cool. And a, that's a cool box. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Ziploc freezer baggie. Yep, that's what. Oh, Glaber. Woo. We got a Glaber. <laughs> We're going to get the Glaber song, too. Out of a bag. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, that's good, DFD, because your first number was the first. You gave me Tucker number 69, brother. <laughs> and I have it on paper and video as proof. <laughs> That's kind of why I like doing it on paper, man. I mean, I couldn't do this alone. I couldn't, I couldn't without, without you guys. I mean, my friends, I couldn't, I couldn't get to 200 Tuckers. There's no way. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Not without the help of you guys. Oh, okay. Sorry, Amio. Thank you for stopping by, though, man. Don't work too hard. My car crew brother. Oh, it's a shame. He's going to miss the Glabers. Yeah, she. I'm, uh, I'll start with the case first. Ooh. Is that penny sleeves? Yeah, penny sleeves. Oh, he gave penny sleeves for the cards inside the case. What? Oh, Paul's a good dude, man. That's awesome. Penny sleeves. <laughs> That's cool, man. I'm sorry. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, look. Anthony Rizzo on the front. Let's see what's up in here. Oh, I see some. Oh, I do see some Tuckers. Oh, there's some Tuckers in here. Oh, there's some Tuckers. Well, I really don't like that angle. Should you please come down a little bit? There you go. Well, maybe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I had to adjust my tripod. Woo, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Anthony Rizzo. Brendan McKay. That's awesome. Nice and shiny. Thank you. Giancarlo Stanton. Nice. Jose Bautista. That's sweet. I like the Mets. Oh, Piazza. Jacob DeGrom. That's, that's cool. These are the ones that are double. Oh, there's Mr. Met himself, David Wright. That's awesome. Zach Wheeler. Jason Vargas. Devin Mascarocco. Juan Lagarget. Oh, that just really screwed that one up. <laughs> Jacob DeGrom. Wilson Ramos. P.J. Colon and I think that's, what is that, Oswald? Yeah, Oswald. Kind of like Roy Oswald from back in the day. Familia. <laughs> Brandon Nemo. Oh, Anthony Sigla. He's going to be our catcher of the future. 
eventually. Floriel, I wish he could be healthy. Chance Adam. Andre Jimenez. Man, that's a good one, actually. He's not bad. He's going to be okay. He's going to be a solid player anyway. I do I do pay attention to some of the minor leagues a lot more than a lot of people give me credit for. <laughs> Jay Bruce. Luis Gilmore. Hassan Bautista. Todd Frazier. The Todd Father. Noah Syndergaard. He's a good football player. <laughs> and when Diaz, they pay too much. Jean Carlos. Albert Ebreu, I hope he comes up and does well. Jonathan Luasiga. Oh, all rise, baby. There's a judge. Diaz. Wow, a lot of Bowman. Luasiga, 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 Luasiga. <laughs> Love Luasiga. He's a good one. Oh, Joe Spice is up in the house. Sweet, man. Um. Uh, I'm always lagging, Joe. <laughs> I'm always lagging. That's just me in life, period. I'm always behind. <laughs> Chance Adams, rookies. Man, Joe, I was just talking about uh, the WWL, man. And how I was hoping that you were going to be in with us. Because I think, this is just rumor. This is just rumor. I can't 100% like confirm this. Although, I can almost... <laughs> But there's going to be another wrestling product hitting YouTube and uh, in the WWL. We're going to be friendly throwing down. We're going to be doing wrestling challenges all over YouTube, man. WWL style. And uh, I think Hard R is going to gonna come out with something that's going to be amazing. I really do. I actually, I have. Dan is the man. That's that's not just a saying. Dan is the man. Dan of Hard R Cards. He is awesome. Luis, Uranus. I can see Uranus. Hey, there's some Astros. Sweet. I need some Astros. Altuve's. Yeah, I need to send them out in care packages, man. <laughs> Got a lot of Astro fans. Akuna Matata for Coach. Coach is a cool. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. Are we ready? Ooh, here come the Tuckers. <laughs> here come the Tuckers. Wow. Here comes the Tuckers. Number 80. Kyle Tucker. Number 81. Kyle Tucker. Number 82. Kyle Tucker. Number 83. Kyle Tucker. And number 84. Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy to get these two, Bowman. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is a true story. Oh, 84. Thank you, Paul. Um, I was doing uh, to chase for wonder with uh, Lone Star RSR cards, Collector Holic, um, and iPhone service. My car crew brothers, we were doing, our, you know, we were searching for wonder. We were doing the episodes. We got up to like episode thirty something. Um, well, before Coach turned me into a Kyle Tucker wannabe super collector, um, I was breaking a lot of booming. And uh, I, I was giving it away. <laughs> I was sending it to... I sent some to... I can't even remember who I sent it to. But I know Big Country Wheelhouse. I sent him a couple big boxes of Bowman. And uh, I went... Then, went, then like maybe a week and a half later, Coach from Village Breaks sends me all these Kyle Tuckers and everything. And then I got into my head. I mean, I didn't really like this Kyle Tucker guy and everything like that. This guy... Reminds me of my best friend's nephew. His name's Kyle. And they look ex exactly alike in the face, man. Oh, I won't focus on his beautiful face. But but this guy, Kyle Tucker, looks like Joshua, my best friend, who I showed you in the, in the Shannon Elizabeth picture in the uh, 
Boondock Saint picture, his nephew. And his nephew's name is Kyle. And so I got into my head. And I was like, okay, he sent me all these awesome Kyle Tuckers. I'm going to be a Kyle Tucker super collector. I like this kid. I'm going to collect him. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I sent all my Bowman rookies that I had a Kyle Tucker away. I sent them all away. I didn't have any. <laughs> now, look, Paul sent me five. Now I got them all back. Yay. See, do something good for someone and the good will come back to you. Look, I sent all my Kyle Tuckers, all my Kyle Tucker Bowmans away. Send them to someone to help him out. Him and his brother and everything. Sent a bunch of them. And look, they came back through another method, another friend, care package. Well, no, this isn't a care package. This is a, this is, this is actually a purchase. I mean, some of this is care pack. It's a care package purchase because Paul's a good dude. Paul cares. <laughs> Don't you, Paul? I know you do. M dolls. Ah, oh, I'm not familiar with you, M dolls. <laughs> Joe Spice, see, that's the kind of stuff that whenever me and you throw down, you can say that. Uh, Spidey, I'm going to make you kiss my Astros. <laughs> that would be funny, man. That would be funny. That's the kind of stuff we're going to be. But there you go, 84. Number 80 to 84. Kyle Tucker from Paul Dice. Am I saying your name right? Say yes or no. Is it Dice? Because that's how I say it. Dice. It's not Dyke. I don't think it's Dyke. I think it's Dice. Am I wrong? <laughs> Dyche. Dyche. It's Dyche. Okay, Dyche. Okay, I was close. I was close. Uh, I want to get it right, man. You're my friend. I want to get it right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a glaber. And he's the reason I busted my shin. <laughs> in a big Yankee win. <laughs> Whenever he had five RBIs. Oh, he got me so excited. He got me so excited that I... Uh, this is no bullcrap, man. I threw open the door to the cabin, started jogging up the path, and I thought, wow, I can cut through here in the dark. Next thing I know, I am screaming like a little girl. Ah, oh, I broke my shit. <laughs> and that's how I said it. I didn't say shin. I said I broke my shit. <laughs> that's exactly how I said it. <laughs> but I'd break my other one. I'd bust my other one if he'd have five more RBI. Oh, whoa, look. It might be a twin performance. Dos Glebors. Woo. That's awesome. That's, whoa. What is this? What is all this? Oh, holy cow. Oh, oh that one's going to be silent but deadly. That was one of them silent ones you didn't hear. Wow. Oh, Mojo. He mojoed me. Woo. Today's your birthday, Joe. Awesome. Joe Spice's birthday. Happy birthday, brother. Holy cow. I feel like it's my birthday because look at this beautiful little thing here. <laughs> wow. wow i was really happy whenever i forgot I, I he sent me a picture but i forgot i was happy with these i was very happy with these but whoa, that one's nice oh there's two wow joe joe spice are you sure it's not my birthday brother <laughs> No, happy birthday, my Canadian brother. That's awesome. I'm not going to ask you how old you are. <laughs> I'm just going to say, happy birthday, brother. You're my boy. I love me some Joe Spice. Joe Spice speaks his mind. And I think every... Polar bear in the house. Hey, D. Oh, D's is back. Hold on, what did D say? That's a big one. Dang, guys, my boy CC. From Let's Play Two CCs, 
Just pulled a stinking one of one bringing plate out of a Walmart blaster. Oh, D, that's awesome, dude. Wow, that's that's fantastic. Oh, Posada, what's going on, brother? Yeah, Posada's in the house. Sweet. Love me some Posada. That's another dude that does it right. Whenever Posada becomes a subscriber or a supporter of your channel, that's one dude that you know is going to be doing it right. Whenever Posado hits play, he goes all the way. I know he does. That's a good dude right there. I remember. I remember whenever Posada. Man, I've. I, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, but I have to say that I. I'm. I was either Posada's 47th or 48th sub. I subbed to him before he had 50. <laughs> me and Posada go way back. Love me some. Oh, Dave Durango's up in here. What's going on, man? I oh, appreciate you, brother. You going what? Oh, you okay, dude? Dave, I, I mean, you gotta go to doctors. Is it just a check? I hope it's just a checkup, brother. I was just talking about you, uh, maybe uh, giving me some. Uh, Guitar lessons. <laughs> I actually did say that. I broke out my banjo, but I was like, man, if I'm going to get guitar lessons, it better be from like 12 Again Sports and Outdoors or Dave Durango. Oh, cool. Sweet. Cool. Need to fill a prescription. That's awesome, dude. Uh, we don't want our number one squeezer. We don't want our number one squeezer you know, going down, man. If you see Dave Durango in, the, in some of these live streams, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. You will get squeezed by Durango. <laughs> Love Dave Durango. He's awesome. Not to mention, he does... Uh, he, is it jujitsu? Are you jujitsu too like me? I, th I think I, I jumped into his live stream. I didn't... I was at work. I didn't get to comment. Uh, he did a live stream where he had... Uh, he had... He, he was... He had... Uh, he was doing grappling. It looked like... It looked like jujitsu grappling. That was wrestling? Oh, Okay. It was wrestling. Yeah, he was doing... It was wrestling. Okay. I knew... You do do... You are into jiu-jitsu too, right? Yeah, he is. Yes. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, I liked jiu-jitsu. I, I did four and a half years of jiu-jitsu, man. Loved it. It was really good. If anybody goes to throw a fist or a, or a kick at me, I will dislocate your elbow or your kneecap in a heartbeat. <laughs> Or if you guys want to wrestle, I'll turn you into a pretzel. Oh <laughs> uh, well, at least at least about eight to ten years ago. Now I'm getting kind of old, got a bad leg. <laughs> but yeah, Durango's into all that too, man. Durango's a good dude. Hey, and if you guys are in here and you ain't got Durango, dude, pick up Durango. He goes he goes live late, usually whenever I'm in bed. But he plays the guitar and stuff, man. He's a good dude. I love Dave. Dave's a good, good dude. <laughs> and everything. He's Sabo fan. He's Mr. Sabo. <laughs> Mr. Sabo fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I guarantee you, Paul. <laughs> if you come at me, you go for the shin, you get the win, bud. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hobbling around horrible. They gave me crutches, but I don't want to use crutches. Show signs of weakness. I'd rather just hop and <laughs> act like a weenie. It's all, all good. Yeah, definitely get on the Durango bus, man. Dude's talented, and he has he has cool breaks. He, I haven't gotten a chance to get into any because, man, it's his hours. His hours are really weird for me, which is is really cool for others because you know. People that are looking for a cool live stream to hang out in, there you go. Because he plays guitar. He'll show you, like, different movies, like, old movies and talk about some every now and again. It's not Jaws 3, brother. I'll just tell you that right now. It's not Jaws 3. But, yeah, Dave Durango is a good dude. I love Dave. I even get to see him in, like, Blood X's uh, lives and everything. He's a good dude. Very good, dude. All right, let's get back to the show. That's good. I'm just glad he's getting a prescription filled. No, we don't need anybody else down. Teddy Goose got, just got out of surgery. These card breaks waiting for surgery. Uh, Shack Rat should have just got out of his hip surgery. Uh, I busted my shin. 
I mean, yeah, we don't need anybody else going to the hospital or being sick or anything. But, okay, let's get back in this. We're up to the Big Pete Meat. Oh, I said that wrong, didn't I? Big Pete Meat. No, Big Meat Pete. <laughs> I said that backwards. Oh, I've been alive too long. All right, anyway, that's beautiful. I did not have Ready for the Big Show. I did not have that one. Oh, the Bowman. Chrome. Oh, that's Chrome. Oh, these are all Pete's. Boom and Chrome. Oh, they're all Pete's. Boom and Chrome. Boomin. Oh, looky there. A couple. Oh, that's so awesome because you know what? Whenever I gave all my Boomin cards away, I sent all my McNeil rookies away too, man. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't care. I don't. Uh, Whenever people ask me for stuff, and if I don't need it at the time, I just send it. I don't really care, you know. Like I said, if you do good for others, the good will come back to you. It will. Look, because Paul hooked me up with all the stuff I got rid of. It's awesome. Dang, he got me up to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He sent some pretty ones. He got me up to 86. Right? Look at that. Oh, my God. They're gorgeous. And a stack of Alonzo's Glaber. Uh-uh. All right, I'm gonna have to put it on again. I don't know. Dave might leave before he gets to see the see my terrible banjo playing. But we gotta do it. Kyle Tucker, he hooked it up. He made the number go up. So we gotta do it for my boy Paul. I should have grabbed a different set of tooth, but I can't find any right now. Where, where, who won't put my tooth out? I do not know. I do not know. Well, here we go. I just got to adjust. Oh, I'm getting a cramp. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I got to adjust. Because I can't stand up. <laughs> you like my drawing? Like the drawing that my kids did on the dresser? <laughs> all right. Paul, thank you for all the cow tucker. Super collector. Wanna be. Thank you, brother. 86? That's awesome. Woo! Cow Tuck! I wanna be a super collector. Oh, that's awesome. So now that I did that, now that I did that, Paul, I gotta put you on my. Oh, I knew that I had. I knew I had to get you on my package list, but. So I gotta send your package out at the same time as Big Case. And then I put Paul. See, I keep it. I have to. I have to keep everything on paper. Man, there's. A, once you get up to a thousand subs and you're dealing with. Man, you're dealing with a lot of people. <laughs> you're dealing with a lot of people. And it's awesome. It's fantastic. But one thing you should never do, and I hope never to, I never forget about the people that got me where I am. Joe, I, my boy, he's been a big help. All my friends, but I like to connect. You know what I'm saying? I want to connect. Posada, Posada's my boy. We connect. You know, I like to, uh, you know, there's a lot of you guys out there that, you know, I text on a weekly basis, I think. <laughs> At least I try. <laughs> I try. You know, <laughs> life gets busy. Life gets really, really busy. Man. And sometimes, you know, you lose track, but I try my best. And everything. It's all about connections. That's how you're really going to grow. That's how you're going to grow your channel. You know, fast growth is great. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Fast, fast growth is great. You know, getting to know a lot of people is awesome. But, man, the way that you're really, really going to... You know, at least in this community, you know, you really got to make the connections. You just got to, you know, everything. If this, if, if people take the time to do this stuff for you and everything, like, 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 get on comment. You know, you should probably try and do it back for them. I mean, it'll help. I mean, that's that's the way that that it's been for me. 
if if somebody's taking the time to like comment or do anything on on one of my things i will take the time out to you have like the people that you start with and everything don't ever forget the people that you start with you know but there's going to be channels that disappear you know it depends on how long you do this there's going to be there's channels that whenever i started that are no longer around and you know you miss them you know you hope they come back you know but you just never know but you know the the, the groups that you, you 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 come up with and you 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 grow with you know it's special to like keep those connections and everything like that but just because you have those connections don't ever close the door because there's so many other things you got to think outside the box too uh, outside our community also you got you got to think um you know there's only so there's only what i mean uh, let's let's face it there's only like 10 20 000, you know people that are really really into like the card and the sports i mean there might be more That's a stupid number i just came up with but in our community you know our community is kind of small to where there's only there could be up to maybe i mean active active man my sports and everything and some ones that you really really want to be tight with you really because that that's what this is your passion they share your pa passion they share the same you know they like the same stuff as you do but just because you know this channel might be a little different you know they might be really cool it might open your eyes but they don't collect cards they 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 might watch sports and they're like they might be like watch olympics or you know something like that but you know, but just because they don't like sports doesn't mean that they can't, you know, support your channel and uh, maybe give you a few ideas to bring over to your channel. And you could maybe even do vice versa to them. You might do something on your channel that might help them out. So that's what I've been doing. That's how I, that's how I kind of grew so big. I mean... I thought I had I had this I have solid connections in the community. I love this community. I love everything about this. Even the bullcrap that you know, it's not going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. You're always going to have someone that don't like someone else. That's fine. That's fine. Then you know what you do? You don't watch them. Don't don't yet that I don't enjoy it watching some aspect of their you know what they're doing you know i mean <laughs> look my voice my voice is not a pretty voice i don't have that it cometh an egg voice i don't have that uh jason aaron goldberg welcome to the booth broadcast you know that's awesome you know dudes that have stuff like that you know you don't even you know, just because maybe like a group of your friends might watch them, don't mean you have to. If you don't like them, don't watch them, man. Don't watch them. You know, it's okay. There's plenty of other people that'll support them. Everything. You know, support what you like. Support what you like. Build the the friendship with the people that you like, man. But we're gonna get off of here because we've been talking about this too much and everything and i've lost so much oh funkin oh funkin came in funkin math came in um 280 out of all the people on youtube i owe you brother <laughs> and let me show you what i got just exactly all the stuff that i want for you that's all dude you want to talk about someone who's guilty okay i know you all know about the quato big d thing and i'm not going to talk about it much I'm just going to say, if Quato's is guilty, <laughs> Spidey's guilty. Because, look, I have had this. Let me get a hold of it. Oh, what out? It's pretty big. Oh, get my hands around it. Oh. I'm talking about a stack of cards, too, guys. Keep your, keep your, keep your head out of the gutter. Okay. Okay. I've had this stack. Now, Bryce. Oh. Um. 
um, <laughs> let me reiterate that. Prism 280 sent me one hell of a pack, dude. I'm talking about, dude. He sent me some of my favorite cards. Um, he sent me an Alondra Trier autograph. He sent me a Miz Relic. Miz Relic, dude. And I, I, at the time, I didn't realize that that was going to be one of my favorite cards. But I've had this stack. This, this, is a, this is a stack for Bryce. These are all for Bryce. This is the stack. I just haven't sent it yet. And it's been Bryce. Oh, I keep on saying Bryce, damn it. <laughs> Prism. How long has it been since you sent me that that package? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. I have been building a stack for him. You know? There's one of his, you know, favorite. Um, I've been building this stack for him, and I have not sent it out, and it's been, I don't know if he can confirm it. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, anyway, back to, back to Prism 2, at least, I'm going to say three, trade, contact, and you know, we text back and forth, because he knows I care about him. I care about, about him a lot. I watch, I, he's another one I never miss, but I, I, I always want to talk to him. He's my friend. He supports a lot of my car crew brothers. Um, and he means a lot to me. But I'm guilty. I haven't sent his package out. And as you've seen, he's on my... He's on my... Oh, I should scratch that out. He's on my list. I should scratch that out because I put his name. I shouldn't have. And I put his name on there and I shouldn't have. But yeah, he's on my list of packages, and I scratched out of his name. I didn't want y'all to know his name, Prison 280. But that he's on my he's on my list. I've had to get that, and I haven't. I'm guilty. I am so guilty, and I, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know it is, but it would be so much nicer if it was down there in Texas with you right now, brother. And I just want to let you know that we I made a trade with Prison 280. He sent me an awesome package. I have not sent him his package out. It's still right here. I just showed you. and it, But it's not complete. I need more. I need more. And that's why I haven't sent it out. But one thing I want to tell you about Prism 280. Not once. Not once has he ever bugged me. Not once. Has he ever said one bad word to me? Not once has he ever said, Hey, you're going to send me that package. And man, I appreciate that. But in my defense, he knows he's going to get his package. <laughs> it's just a little late. It's just way late. That's because, uh, because he hooked me up with such good stuff that I really, really, really want to return the favor. And I haven't gotten that one card that's going to put his dick in the dirt yet and i want it so badly although you know there's no excuse i should just send him them now and say hey send you another thing later but i just wanted to be pow and then week after week you know it life gets in the way sometimes dude i'm guilty i'm guilty i'm guilty and you know it's coming you know it's coming prism i swear to you i swear to you on tony and jeremy and if see, uh, I care about Prism. He's 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 one of my friends. I I, I didn't text him today. <laughs> you know I don't. We don't text every day. Almost dang near. If if I don't text him within a day or two, he'll text me. Or if he don't text me within a day, I usually text him. And we're always because he's a hardworking dude, man. And he does it right. He does it right on YouTube. He supports the channels he likes. He's not about growing. He's about, you know, sharing the hobby with the people that he likes. And, uh, man, I respect you. And your package will be coming, brother. I promise you that. But out of all the people in all of YouTube, uh, I'm guilty. Uh, dude, he sent me the package so long ago, and I feel so bad for it and everything like that. And then Quato gets into that thing with Big D, and it's like, wow. I don't want nothing like that. 
I promise you, if you send me a care package and I say I'm going to send you a care package, it will be sent. <laughs> it will be sent. Just be patient. So, Funkin'. Funkin'. It's National Titty Awareness Month. That is awesome. I'm all about titties. I'm not ashamed to say it. I am my my. I am a titty man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not afraid to say it on my channel either. So, how you been, Funkin'? That's awesome to get you guys up in here. Towards the end, I was just going to end this, but then bright, I had Prism 280 came in. I've had that package. I just haven't sent it out, but I will get that out to him. And then I won't have to worry about any more late packages because everybody else should be up to date pretty much. You know, this is not, it's not easy whenever you're dealing with like a bunch of people. Like, man. But I tried my best. Man, Paul hooked me up. I'm up to 86 Tuckers. 86 Tuckers. Woo! This was a good day, guys. Thank you so very much for everybody that came in. Save the boobs. Dude, I got the shirt, man. Oh, I wonder if it's clean. Oh, uh, my, uh, my one thing about me and my wife's family. <laughs> we have not had it easy. Cancer... Cancer has ravished my family, and it has ravished hers. Um, yeah, Cancer, here it is. I got it. It's a little wrinkly. It's a little wrinkly, but I got it. I want to show it. I didn't know it was national, but my uh, my wife's... Uh, I don't even show it now that Funkin' brought it up. My wife's cousin... Which is younger than us. Um, in fact, uh, she'd be just turning 40 if she was still with us. Um, she got breast cancer. and we tr She tried. She tried. She made this shirt. This is her shirt that she personally made. This is her design that she made to raise money for her for cancer. Save the racks. I wear this shirt proudly. Because it's my wife's cousin, and my wife's cousin Jody was a very, very good person. She was a very funny, funny, loving person, and I, I really, 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 really loved her and everything. But yeah, save the racks. I'm not afraid to say it. Breast cancer is awful, you know. Save the boobies. I'm all down with that. I'm all down with that. Yeah, that sucks, Funkin'. That sucks. That sucks so bad, man. I know. Um, I'm not going to lie. My mom beat breast cancer. Thank God. Um, so, and then, uh, now, uh, and, uh, Melissa's one aunt, Sharon. We call her Aunt Sis. Um, she beat cancer, breast cancer, you know, but it doesn't mean that it can't come back, but, uh, Melissa's grandmother did not, my grandmother did not, um, it's all good though, Funkin, Funkin, since you're here, man, you want to see something big, <laughs> you want to see something big, Funkin, you want to see something big, I can't stand, so I'm gonna have to lower the thing, I cannot stand, oh, you see this thing? Funkin. You got like one of the biggest packages ever. What's that thing? What's that thing? <laughs> oh, look. Look. Uh, I'm John Cusack at the end of that movie. But I'm not playing that song. I wonder if I can play that song on my phone. That would be awesome right now. Like, yeah, come down. I'm sorry I was such a jerk. <laughs> That's a big old package, Funkin. That's a big old package, homie. That's awesome, though. I can't wait. You're going to love what I'm going to do with it, too. <laughs> You're going to love what I'm going to do with it. As soon as I get more mobility. All right. All right, gentlemen. I have been on here for longer than I was expecting to go. I appreciate everyone who stopped by. Whew. That was a heck of a day, man. My 